I always gave it everything I had and left it all on the ice. But is it really possible to empty the tank? And how does a player's natural hormones and chemicals help activate that level of play? I don't have the answers, but I know who does. The body produces chemicals and hormones that help it function. At least that's what I remember from high school biology. But how does the body do that? And how does it help blues players when they need it most? So the endocrine system is incredibly complicated, but you can think of it like a trucking company in the body. The system is made up of multiple glands, and these are like the factories. And these produce and release hormones into the trucks, and those go out into the bloodstream, which you can think of as the highway, and they carry information and instructions from the factory to the target parts of the body. The one people are most familiar with, especially in a sport like hockey, is adrenaline. Adrenaline, that's what helps ordinary people lift cars off the ground, right? So how does it help us hockey players? So a lot of hormones work together to help the muscles access energy, but adrenaline is the fastest. It's released rapidly to help the body perform nearly instantaneously in a moment of heightened stress. Adrenaline signals the heart to beat faster and the lungs to breathe more efficiently, sending more blood and energy to the parts of a player's body that need it most in that moment. For blues players, you'll likely see this rush of adrenaline during a breakaway, when there's a shot on goal, or when the game is on the line. That adrenaline rush kicks in and the body has a boost of energy that is unmatched. Okay, so if adrenaline helps a blues player perform in an instant, do they ever run the risk of using it all up in a game? While a player can't run out of adrenaline, consistent training is teaching the player's body to use less adrenaline because they're becoming more and more efficient at using it. And they're actually more sensitive to it. At the same time, exercise also increases the ability of the adrenal gland to produce adrenaline during high intensity exercise. So when a key moment does arise in a game, they actually have a stronger adrenaline response. This is how hockey players get to that higher level of performance during those fight or flight moments throughout a game. With everything that goes on during a game, players need that rush of adrenaline over and over again. Good thing they've always got a full tank at the ready to give them the extra push they need. And that's the science of St. Louis Blues Hockey.